Everything starts with one line of code. Everyone has these amazing ideas, but they're not always good at being able to explore them creatively and really to bring them to life in a way that other people can understand them. When you look at Facebook, WhatsApp, Minecraft, those all started with one line of code. I think one of the things that people don't understand is that coding is more than just programming. It is actually a new means of communicating. We no longer only communicate with each other as humans, but we communicate with the machines around us. We have to communicate with technology all the time. And understanding coding gives you deeper insight into that communication. So each student who uses Minecraft and, and plays our hour of code is able to develop a version of the game that exactly is what they personally would create. One of the ways that Hour of Code helps students understand computer science is that it makes everything more accessible. It's packaged not only in a way that's easy to flow through and understand, but also uses great topics and themes that they're excited about. A lot of imagination, use your brains, it's fun. It's exciting to me to think that there will be so many different versions of Minecraft that these creative kids think about and, and decide to build themselves. For someone with no experience with coding, like myself, I can go through the tutorial and really learn and appreciate how this aspect of computer science works. Seeing the power in being able to create whatever you imagine and kind of the, the learning that happens just on their own, you know, learning that's driven by interest and passion. I need something. I'm going to put forward. So you could code something with a million blocks, but it could be better if you use a loop or if you kind of are more efficient. Yes, I did it! My hope for students is that Minecraft changes the dynamic for them in the classrooms, allowing them to problem solve, think creatively, express themselves in a new way that they might not be able to do in a traditional classroom setting. Every time you write code, it won't be perfect the first time around. You'll have to really work at it to get it there, but it's okay because the code won't judge you. And eventually, the code will do exactly what you want it to do. The best part of my job is actually adding new stuff to Minecraft. I kind of like the creative part of creating something from, from nothing. The world is theirs and they can create anything they want and that really allows them to express themselves in so many different ways. It's a game without a story, so you are bringing your own story to it. And storytelling is one of the most creative forms of problem solving. This year's Hour of Code tutorial allows you to create and tell your own stories.